Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And in this episode, we are camped in the beautiful area of St. George, Utah, down in the far southwestern corner of the state. Now, while we're boondocking out here, we're going to explore the area with you, including checking out the remains of an early settler fort, some dinosaur tracks, some ancient petroglyphs, and also traveling to the nearby Siegmiller Mountain. Up at the very top, where we'll have a beautiful view of the entire desert below, all the way to Zion National Park. So stay tuned. So we're down here in St. George uh, practicing our best social distancing with my buddy Dan. Uh, you may remember Dan from our uh, strawberry episode from Utah. If not, I'll put a link right up here on the screen. So you can go back and check that out. Dan, this has been a, kind of a cool spot. Yeah, it really has, you know, and as far as access to it, it's been super easy to, to get here to set up and, and, and convenient as far as, uh, you know, uh, moving in and out of there yeah so. absolutely i mean we're on a we're in a place called pipeline road this is a brand new road it's really not on any maps including google maps or any satellite imagery that i could find before we headed down here we've really got to uh, thank uh, our buddy eric uh, from love, love our freedom who's one of our viewers and sent us a message uh, on instagram earlier this week to let us know about this spot because it is brand spanking new called Pipeline Road because what they've done is they're in the process of building a pipeline leading from carrying water from Sand Hollow Reservoir and the pipeline runs below the road. Uh, we're up in the Warner Valley on the east side of St. George. Uh, the road itself is graveled with mag gravel uh, so it's pretty easy drive and it's about four miles of dirt to get up in here. Uh, but Dan, it's really convenient uh, to St. George if you need supplies or anything of that nature. And it also makes a great stop off if you're traveling I-15, say between Las Vegas and Salt Lake City. Um, there is a lot of ATV traffic. The ATVs seem to be really popular yeah, around they, here, don't they, they? They run quite a bit. They do. Uh, but if that's not a bother to you, this is actually a great spot. The BLM, in the course of building this road, has constructed what? Uh, probably about 10 sites. Yeah. Uh, complete with a little fire ring and a little gravel spot around the fire ring uh, right here on the side of the road. So tell you what, let's spend a few minutes uh, showing you around camp a little bit so you can get a better idea of camping along Pipeline Road in these dispersed dry camping sites before we head off and explore the area.
there's a whole lot to see and do in the St. George area. In this episode, we're focusing on the south and east sides of town where we're camped. On the north and west sides, you've got Snow Canyon and the Red Cliffs National Conservation Area. If you'd like to know more about that side of town, check out our episode 82 from Snow Canyon, which we'll link to right here on the screen. First up, we're visiting the remains of Fort Pierce, constructed in 1866 before Utah became a state to protect early Mormon settlers from the Navajo in the midst of the Black Hawk War. Named in honor of Captain John David Lafayette Pierce, the ruins are now listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Just a short distance east of Fort Pierce, the Warner Valley Dinosaur Track site, maintained by the BLM, contains over 400 tracks from at least three different types of dinosaurs, fossilized in the sandstone. The tracks are situated just a short, two-tenths of a mile walk from the parking lot, in the bottom of a shallow dry wash. Upon Eric's recommendation, we're going to check out Sieg Miller Mountain. Although it's located on the other side of the state line on the Arizona Strip, the mountain's 6,200-foot summit affords a commanding view across the Virgin River Valley, all the way to the towers of Zion National Park and the snow-capped summit of Bryan Head Beyond. The road to the Little Black Mountain Petroglyph site begins on BLM land right near the Utah-Arizona state line, southeast of St. George. The site contains some outstanding rock art, representing 6,000 years of human habitation and use. The site has over 500 individual rock art designs and elements on the cliffs and boulders surrounding the base of a 500-foot mesa. The different designs are associated with the cultures of the Great Basin, Western Anasazi, and Lower Colorado River, only a few of the many cultures that have passed this way. Some of the representations of turtles, lizards, and bear paws may be symbols with social or religious meanings that are now lost to humanity.
on our final night in St. George, Eric and Tessa are kind enough to invite us over for conversation and some exceptional Dutch oven potatoes that Eric whipped up. So we hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us to St. George, Utah. If you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time to go down there and smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. Because we put out new outdoor adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday evening. We would also be honored if you share Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. Now down below, you'll find the comment section. We'd love to hear from you after each and every episode down there. And also down below, if you like this video, it's extremely important to us. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.